guys, welcome back to another vlog. We are coming to you from Samuk Champe in the north of Guatemala right now. This is somewhere that has been on our bucket list and we're so excited for, I think it was, other than Akatenango, the stop I've been most excited for throughout all of Guatemala. So I'm really keen to see if it lives up to the hype. If you haven't heard of this place, it looks like a beautiful, I think, underground river system with all these different beautiful turquoise pools on top. Now we checked into Gringo's Hotel last night. This hostel is just 10 minutes walk from the entrance. When you're coming here, you can either stay in the town of Lanquin, which is about a 40 minute bus ride away, car ride, four by four ride on a very bumpy road and come in each day, or there's a handful of hostels right in the park where you can stay. So we chose Gringo's. I'll take you on a full tour later, but for now we're gonna head into the park and have a look and see if we can find these beautiful pools. So our first stop in Smuk Champe Park monument area was the pools and they are so, so nice. We have found so much of the water in Central America is so hot so it's not even refreshing but coming here it is just like the perfect temperature. It is so nice because the rainforest and the forest here is just so, so hot. You will have seen in that first clip I was just dripping in sweat but now we feel so much better. The water is just beautifully clear. There's so many different levels and pools you can enjoy and it is just beautiful. So we're just about to start the hike up to the Mirador. It's about 500 meters up, all stairs, meant to be an amazing view. So let's go. second day in Samuk Champe and we're heading back into the park today to do the cave tour, the river rafting, I think there's going to be a cliff jump involved, it's going to be really fun. Yesterday it was so so beautiful spending time in those pools and going for the hike, you can definitely squeeze this all into one day if you only have one day here, it is doable, it is absolutely achievable, but I think if you can split it over two days it's a much nicer way to spend a little bit more time in each place, to not have time pressure and to make sure you get to see everything. Having just the mirror door and the lakes on one day, the pools, and then having the cave tour on another day, I think is gonna be really great. We found a guide yesterday just at the park. He was really lovely, spoke really great English, gave me his WhatsApp, so we've coordinated that this morning. We've made some friends at the hostel who are coming along with us, so I'll walk you through the whole day, how it goes. We are paying, I think, 85 quetzales each per person for this tour. It is the only thing you cannot do by yourself in the park. So let's go. We're going to go meet him now. It's about 10 a.m. and we are so keen to get this going. So it took us 10 minutes to walk down to the entrance to some walk from Gringos. We then met up with our guide and we've come a little bit further. Some of the girls are getting equipped with water shoes. I'm just wearing my Tevas in and she has Crocs on and we're told they're fine. So that's good and a good way to save money if you have those shoes. But I'm interested to see how today goes. <laughs> Guys, we go inside now for one hour. 
What we're gonna do, guys, we're gonna swim in. Jump, slide, climb it. Okay, so we just finished our section of the cave tour, the first half, and now we're heading down to the river to go check out a waterfall and go river tubing, I think. Um, our guide is really excellent. I can put his WhatsApp details down in the description for you guys if you want to come to the area and go with the same guy, but it's been such a fun day so far. As a bonus on our tour, the guide took us to a really important area of the park which made us understand where we were and appreciate it so much more. The name Samuk Champe, the name of the whole area, has the meaning where the river hides under the earth. And I couldn't quite understand this until he took us to this point today. But basically there is this really huge river that runs underneath these 300 meter limestone pools. Now yesterday we went swimming in these gorgeous pools. These are the images you see online everywhere. It's so, so beautiful. But underneath there is a really fast running river. Now today he took us to the spot where this river resurfaces and we got to experience the powerful water and see what this actually looked like and comprehend it. And it was so amazing. And this was the start of our float. <laughs> we are now onto the final part of this tour, which is the river uh, flow, I think. I think this is all that's left. Uh, but they've given us these tubes and the water is moving so fast. I think Tristan's behind me somewhere. <laughs> uh, what a day. Ready, watch it! I respected the hustle and they also just kind of throw it at you. <laughs> <laughs> The end of the flow 
boat officially marked the end of this day tour, we wrapped it up with some food at a local little food stall run by some beautiful people that lived in the area and then spent the rest of the day in the pool. This tour was absolutely fantastic and honestly the best way. We were so happy with how we decided to see some Mook Champé. As promised, let's wrap it up with a little tour of Gringos. This hostel was absolutely amazing. It was such a cool in the middle of the jungle experience. We spent so much time in this stunning pool and then they have lots of quirky little areas for you to hang out in, pool tables, hammocks. We were super, super happy and the best part was definitely the resident little goats that live there. This whole experience was absolutely amazing. If you want to see more, more information will be coming to my blog, CaitlinLaurent.com, very soon. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.